Welcome everyone to a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your host, Hassan Khan, and in this video, we're going to be discussing Adam Gase and his tenure as head coach of the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. I admit it, I was an Adam Gase apologist. I just thought he was so good offensively that he's going to make a great head coach. But it wasn't until his last season with the Miami Dolphins in 2018 where I started to think, does he hurt his teams more than he does help them? We're going to give you one main reason on what is hurting Adam Gase as a head coach and give you some examples to back that up. But before we get into that, we're going to tell you about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or set format. The fantasy football season is almost over, so make sure you guys take advantage of this. Pretty much you just guess which player is going to have more fantasy points for that week. This week's matchups include Sam Darnold versus Baker Mayfield, Ryan Tannehill versus Philip Rivers, DJ Moore versus Devontae Parker, and so many more. Right now, there's a progressive lobby that has a jackpot of $3,200, but there's another jackpot of $25,000. To sign up and start playing, download the app for iOS or click the link in the description. Go to www.overlaydfs.com. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Bills wide receiver Cole Beasley came back to the old stomping grounds. On Thanksgiving, he had six receptions for 110 yards and one touchdown. But what makes him the hungriest player that wanted it the most? He did it all in Jerry's world. In a revenge game against his former team, the Dallas Cowboys, he led the Bills to a 26-15 victory. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Now let's get into Adam Gase and how he's hurt every team that he's coached. A little backstory to set it up, Joe Philbin was the head coach of the Dolphins in 2015, but he was fired after starting that season 1-3. and three. Prior to that, he was 8-8 eight and eight and 7-9, and nine, so nothing more than mediocre. In 2016, the Dolphins hired Adam Gase to be the new head coach, and he started off with a bang, going 10-6 and making the playoffs. Off to a good start, right? Well, since then, he hasn't done much, going 7-9 and nine and 6-10. and 10. But here's the one thing that has hurt Adam Gase as a head coach. His decision making. In 2016, he made some good decisions drafting Xavier Howard and Larry Tunsil, two Pro Bowl level players. But since then, he hasn't really done much for the Miami Dolphins. Let's get a little bit more into that decision making. Bad decision number one. In 2017, after a playoff berth in 2016, Ryan Tannehill went down with a season ending injury so with that playoff window open for the Miami Dolphins, Adam Gase thought he could salvage the season by signing Jay Cutler. Oof. Bad decision number two. In 2017, they traded away Jay Jai to the Philadelphia Eagles. Now that trade necessarily wasn't the bad decision, but you would think if you're trading away your starting running back, you have a lot of confidence in your young running back, Kenyon Drake, that you drafted just a year prior out of Alabama. Wrong. Even though he had a lot of talent, Kenny Drake was never promoted to be in that workhorse role like Jay Ajayi was the year prior. And see, that's the thing about his decision making. It leads into him not using his players properly. We mentioned Kenny Drake. This year, he was traded from Miami to Arizona. In Arizona, he's having a lot more success than he would ever have with Adam Gase in Miami. Cliff Kingsbury sees a lot of talent, a lot of potential in him. Then he named him the starting running back over David Johnson of all people. Another player that we could talk about, quarterback Ryan Tannehill. The Dolphins thought that he was the problem in Miami and they traded him away to Tennessee. But now we see the success that he's having in Tennessee and you would think to yourself, was he really the issue in Miami? Another player that we could talk about, wide receiver Devontae Parker. 6'3", 215 pounds, a great combination of size and speed. Maybe not as talented as Julio Jones, but he's built like Julio Jones. If you use him the right way, you can get the most out of him. But when Adam Gase was in Miami, there were reports that said that Gase thought that Devontae Parker was too soft of a player and he held him back. Now with him gone, Brian Flores using him the way that he's supposed to be used, a big outside receiver that can win one-on-one -on -one matchups, you see the success that Devontae Parker is having in 2019. It even trickles down to the lesser known players like tight end Mike Kosicki. 6'6", 250 pounds, we thought he was the best tight end prospect in that 2018 draft class. Yes, better than Hayden Hurst. Yes, better than Dallas Goddard. Has the athleticism and the size, and if used properly, 
as a red zone target, you can get the most out of them. Adam Gase never did that. But now with a new head coach, you see the late season success that Gasecki has been having. But that was the past. Let's talk about the present. 2019 with the New York Jets. Does Adam Gase use his players in the right way? Talk about the players that have been having success. Sam Darnold. That's Adam Gase, right? He helped him get some success in 2019. I think it was a given that Sam Darnold was going to have success no matter what. No matter who the head coach was going to be going into his second year. The most expensive player on that roster is Le'Veon Bell. So he should be the focal point of that offense. But he's not. This team should be a run-first offense, feeding the ball to a proven veteran that can get it done as a workhorse back. But there's only been one game this entire season where Le'Veon Bell has had more than 20 carries. But I'm going to leave this for discussion for all of you. What are your thoughts on Adam Gase? Leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new video every single week. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at Time to Football. And again, hit up www.overlaydfs.com to play daily fantasy football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.